All right, so we got the comments displaying the same thing as the view all posts. We got the same table there. What we need to do is make this table bring data about comments, right? So we need some information here. First, we need the ID, the author, that's fine. As a matter of fact, that is totally fine, all that information there. What else do we need from the comments? We need the email. So we got the author. Actually, let's have the comment right here. I think it's more important. And we're, we're going to be changing the header. And by the way, we are in the view underscore all underscore comments dot PHP. Inside includes inside the um, the admin. All right. We have the right here on top is the path, just in case uh, you don't remember. So. What else do we want to bring from there? We want to bring the email, the status. Actually, we had it right there. And let's bring another field in response to that field. We are going to be putting the title of the specific um, post where the comment it was made to. All right. We're going to say approve here. And this is just going to be the opposite of approve. Unapprove. We're going to be able to approve on our approve comment and then delete. Another important data that we might need is date. Let's bring the date of the comment. That, that way we know the date, right? So let's bring it up to, let's bring it right here. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa, that's a lot of information here. And we need to change some of this too, right? Because we are, our columns are named differently in Psi that table. Comment, author, what else are we bringing in? Comment content, right? Let's actually check the, the, the table. So that way we know exactly what we're bringing in. Comment ID and comment post ID. I'm going to put it right here so that I know exactly what I'm bringing in. There we go. That way we can see exactly what's going on. So the comment ID, comment post ID, and what else? The comment author. Let's just copy this one here, right? Into this one here. And into this one, since we have the first comment, right? Comment post ID, comment author. And if you want, you can go ahead and, you know, do it. Since you probably can type faster than me. I got like five screens in front of me, so it's sometimes a little distracting, right? <laughs> so, all right, comment status and comment date. All right, so we're getting all those fields. We don't need this here. And let's just go ahead and make this variables. Comment post ID. There we go. Oops. Post. Comment email. Comment content. That's the comment itself. Comment status. Oops. Again. And comment date. All right. That is a lot of great information there. So we're going to be displaying this we're in a TR row like we did for the, so let's actually comment, let's display the comment ID right here, comment post ID, we're not going to display that, we don't actually need to display that unless we're bringing in that in response, but I'll show you right now in a minute, comment alter, let's display that right here, comment, email 
we should actually have the comment content before the email I think so it's more important data right so we got one two three four five six seven all right and it looks good right now the title we don't have a title for this but we have the content right here what else do we got from the comment emailed we got the email even though right here the content is before the email is before the content that's fine we don't need to worry about that here we're making a query on this one here so what we're gonna be making a query on this one is gonna be I'm gonna, we're gonna select we're gonna do a query here to find the post actually and um, related to this comment later on but right now let's finish up this form and as a matter of fact I'm going to comment that out for now comment content we need the comment email after that oops let's just paste it right here comment email and we don't need this image here let's just take that out comment email the content do we have the author no we don't have the author so I'm just gonna come for the come the author right here author content email down here and status and date and date all right and let's just take all this out of here we're going to be leaving that edit and that delete we also going to be needing the proof fields so we got, might as well make that right now all right we're going to be leaving this here we're going to say approve here and this one is just going to say on approve approve edit and delete and of course we're going to send different parameters here all right so that's about it that's what we need for this here we're going to be making a different query and we're going to be selecting everything from comments here fix that and select comments fix that too okay so we are almost done one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and here we got four five six seven eight nine ten all right so I think this video is long enough uh, you can go ahead and I'm gonna go slowly scrolling here so that way you can pause it and copy everything I have done wherever you need to copy it to all right and on the next lecture we're gonna finish it up all right thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next one take care